Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new feature of showing um, chapters in a team meeting uh, recording. Uh, so, uh, what we will do is we'll go to the calendar, I'll create a meeting, I'll give it a name, test meeting, I'll send it to Alex, and we will uh, send it and start and join the meeting and start a recording. Um, the recording uh, will be stored in this case in OneDrive under Recordings folders. Uh, just uh, let's uh, start the meeting. Just a second. Here we go. We go to the three dots and we click Start Recording. We don't need to do much. I'm just uh, demonstrating the situation. Um, and now uh, I will stop it. I'll click the three dots and we will start record, stop recording. Okay, the recording has been there. We can close the meeting. And if I come here and edit, I'll see the recording uh, in a couple of seconds. Let's go back. Let's go to the chat. And we see it's there. So uh, what we can do is just uh, click on this and it will refer us to where it's stored. Uh, what we can do is here, I'm now in, in OneDrive under recordings and this is the meeting that was uh, just uh, set. So actually I will open it. I will see the meeting and and here we see actually the video settings and the new thing that we see here is actually to activate the transcripts and captions and here we can generate a, a transcript and the second thing is the chapter so let's activate it after we do that actually you see we have a chapter uh, tab here we can create actually um, according to the time in the video, uh, give it a name and to create chapters. So let's say for chapter zero that starts at the beginning, we'll say uh, start and we can click the V and it will add it. Let's create a new chart. Let's call it a overview and he, this will give the timeline of uh, 10 seconds and uh, here we see we will have uh, multiple um, places where the users and it at actually cuts the, the video to that so let's just make a uh, last words and let's make it a uh, zero 15 and you see here actually if I hover uh, this gives instead of the time it says overview if I go earlier uh, here it should be start and uh, 15 last words should be somewhere over here so this actually gives uh, a way that people can uh, go directly to the topic they want uh, so how, how do they do it actually? We went to this video settings and they activated this chapter thing and then disappeared. Hopefully this uh, gives you some um, new information and you can use it. Uh, actually, I need to test it also for SharePoint for team meetings. Uh, we can test it now, uh, but maybe uh, in another video. So if you like my video, subscribe and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.